16, I believe, right, Sean? This is the U16 right now. We got Jersey Intensity from Central Jersey. And we got Jersey Elite from Washington, New Jersey. So Good little fan cam here. Got some fans out here. Should enjoy. Uh, and we're underway. So we got Jersey Intensity in the white, and Jersey Elite in the red. And our referees are sporting the very fashionable pink, uh, pink jerseys with the black shorts, the home pinks. The home pinks. We gotta get, we gotta get some work. I know we got ladies got work shirts, Joe. But there you go. You wanna get the pink? You gotta get the pink work shirts. Well, they're carrying those two cards that I believe are lethal. Uh, the first one being the, <laughs> the green uh, triangle card, and then the uh, very lethal yellow card, which I believe you don't want to get. Pointed in your direction. We may get a, a yellow card over here in the booth. We might. I don't know. We might be doing a bad job. Ref might notice it. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down the side. Uh, Jersey Elite trying to get some offensive momentum here early. If you tuned in last week, you had a nice enjoyment of me, Sean, and uh, the other Sean. We had Sean Squared. Uh, broadcasting last week, we had uh, Spirit of USA U19 champions, and we enjoyed it last week, and we're certainly enjoying it today. So, hope you guys enjoy our broadcast. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was watching it as I was coaching softball. It was quite the multitask. You sure it's easy? This, you sure there's uh, things not going to fly off, is it, Joe? Well, I hope not. It's starting to get breezy at the wrong time. <laughs> that one's going to go wide. Maybe a kid, uh, a hit in for uh, the Jersey Elite. Oh, and a miss hit. Take advantage by Jersey Elite. Now remember, Joe, you can only use the one, the one side of the stick. That is correct. You're not allowed to use the outside. And I'd be afraid if someone was winding that stick right across my face, Joe. I don't know about you, but uh, Sean, all I know is that ball is unforgiving. Hey, baseballs are unforgiving. Nice catch there by the uh, referee. That, now, does that ref get any assist if uh, they score? I don't know. I guess we can. I guess we'll, we'll count that. So I don't. I think after two passes, though, I think, I think she's out of the running for that. It's a nice, beautiful day here at the Virtual Total Turf Experience and doing outdoor sports complex. If you're tuning in, I hope you enjoy. Uh, if you're in the building and you're watching, because I know we have it on one of the TVs outside, check in the uh, Turfside Cafe. They got some good food, especially their smoothies. Their smoothies are outstanding. I got some copy there for you to read under that. Uh... Oh, you got some copy for me. You got some paper. Oh, okay, okay. Wow. I got a couple. Just so you know what's going on. All right, so we got a couple things going on. Uh, I'll read them to you as we go along. Uh, we'll start off with uh, calling all campers. Registration is now open for summer camps at Total Turf. Games and events will be scheduled each day for campers ages 6 to 14. We offer 10 weekly sessions starting June 24th. Lunch and snacks are available along with sibling discounts, partial week pricing, and early drop-off or even pickup. This summer at Total Turf promises to be a fun and memorable experience for all campers. For more information, call Total Turf at 856-218-0891 or you can email. Are we doing that, Joe? Are we, doing it? Are we, allowed, to, are we allowed to put his email out there? Uh, the yeah, phone number's good. Uh, we'll stay with the phone number. Still no score here. As uh, This is the second semifinal. We got a championship game coming after this. I believe. Maybe a corner. A long hit for the South Jersey Elite. And uh, Joe, what's your take on it so far in this game? 
no momentum on either side yet. There's a lot of uh, back and forth play. Nobody really controlling the ball yet. But then again, it, yeah, we just started. Let's, let's see what happens. It did just start. Go Here's back. that whistle again. Oh, yeah. We're going back the other way. It's going to be Jersey intensity ball. Yeah, somebody turned the fan off here at the park. Thank you for turning it off. <laughs> nice hit up the lane. And a nice stop there by number seven for the elite. And that is Rachel Phillips. Hitting it all the way back in there into the offensive zone. Thirty-nine pass it to number five. We got thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Get up there, somebody. Kate Pianco to there. number five. Jess Welch. We 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 do apologize. Or I apologize in advance if I were to screw anyone's name up. Uh, I'm just an announcer. We all make mistakes. Intensity in white, elite in red. We're gonna do the best we can with these calls. I know last week we had a, we had a couple sheets in front of us, but uh, didn't really help us at all. But we do the best we can. Here's number 24, Danny Profito. There's two Profitos, and I believe there's uh, two sets of twins on this uh, intensity team. So what is there's this Sean? call? I'm not really... Is this a corner? No? Yeah, we do have a couple twins, and we also have a couple... Yeah. That's a, that, that's that's interesting. That's going to be a, a corner for uh, Jersey intensity. Oh, um, she didn't get it. it too much. And another one. Still no, no score here in our semifinal game. Got our cameraman and play by and uh, color commentator in the booth with me right now, and then that's Joe the Show Sweeney. Go, 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 go. And Sean, I believe later on this afternoon we'll be privileged by having Andrew the Butcher yeah. Logar joining us here in the booth. Is he coming back? I believe so. Who are your sources? Uh, just remember, it's on the rumor mill. Oh, it's on the rumor mill. Yeah. Okay, okay. AndyLogarRumor.com. AndyLogarRumor.com. Oh, Joe. That's a nice pass to number 58. Yeah! And it's a goal. Number 58 of Jersey Intensity, Annie Dutch. So one nothing Jersey Intensity here. Last name is Deutsch there, buddy. Deutsch. I didn't want to say anything wrong, Joe. That's all. There you go. Sorry. Just trying to. We'll get him. Got a one nothing lead here, Jersey Intensity, trying to head to the championship game last week. For what I heard from uh, the organizer and runner of the tournament here at Total Turf is uh, that the first two teams will get an automatic bid to Nationals and the consolation game between the third and fourth place team. The third place team will get a wild card berth in the Nationals and I'm not sure if they're still Nationals or not, but I know that's what they said last week, but the fourth place team will go home. 
And it's out of bounds, and we're going the other way. Thanks for that bit of insight there, Sean. Did not know that. Well, last week, they, uh, what they were saying was that the, the Nationals are in Virginia Beach around like the end of June, beginning of July. Nice area for a tournament. So I'm not sure if this would be the same thing or or not. But uh, Yeah, the different age groups may have different destinations as far as tournaments go. But We'll check with Kathy. Yes, we will. We'll check with Bob. <laughs> Going the other way, Jersey Elite. Trying to get some offensive momentum going. They've been playing most of the game right now on their defensive end. It's hard to follow that little red ball around. <laughs> it's it's tough. tough. That's an orange ball, Jeff. Yeah, I'm <laughs> colorblind. Hey, it's all right. No biggie. That's a kickball. Stop making fun of me, Sean. I wasn't making fun of you, Joe. I don't do that, Joe. I'm not that kind of guy. You know, you've known me for what, like? Forever. <laughs> got a little break in the action here. We got a little break in the action. We're going to uh, tell you about St. Joe's is hosting a summer soccer camp at Total Turf. It's five days in July from the 22nd to the 26th. The camp runs in the morning from 9 a.m. to noon and is open to boys and girls ages 4 to 14. Instruction will be provided by St. Joe's University staff coaches former and or current professional players and other college coaches. They'll emphasize the importance of technique through individual skills and small sided play. All campers receive a St. Joe's University camp t-shirt, a camp ball, and a drawstring bag. You can register on the Total Turf website, which is totalturf.net. There's also a team camp for high school ages. Club teams or high school teams are welcome. That camp is August 5th through the 9th. And for more information on that, we're going to go to our handy dandy totalturf.net. Everything's on the site there. Sean. I want my drawstring bag. I do too. I know. Just for making that announcement. We, we should bags. both get drawstring bags. Drawstring bags are they're fun. They're, they're, uh, they come in handy. They do come in handy. Go, Nikki! Go, Nikki! Oh. Nice pass outside. Let's see if we can get some offensive momentum. Trying to send it to, oh, down the line. Number 24 to number 12. Yeah. And Kapito, number 12 is uh, Nikki Profeto. So, Part of the Profeto twins, I believe. Yes, sir. I think they, the one is passed to the other, Joe. That's, that's why I was trying to figure it out. A lot of intensity fans in the house. 17,514 watching uh, field hockey here at Total Turf. So many people. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Oh, what a nice save. Come on, Sam. Go. And that's a goal for number. I don't even know what number that is. Is that number 70, Joe? Not sure. Let's see what happens. It is number 70. I'm not completely sure, but you're correct, sir. So you go number 70. That's a minute Crampton, and that is a two nothing lead for Jersey Intensity here in this semifinal game. Jersey Elite has to get something going here. Maybe get some momentum going into halftime. We don't. Get ready. Let's go, Wade. Stay tuned, everybody, for the Rob Huckabee halftime show. I don't know where Rob, have you seen Rob? He will be here. I know he'll be here, I just don't know when. He better get here because he's got the half time. He's got the half time show. <laughs> Speaking of that uh, men's soccer camp from the f from uh, August 5th to the 9th, the camp runs in the morning from 9 a.m. to noon and is open to boys and girls ages 4 to 14. Instruction will be provided by St. Joe's University staff coaches and former and current professional players and other college coaches. That's uh, Don D'Ambra there. It's the same. Uh, yeah, it is Don D'Ambra. Uh, he, he was a professional player with the Philadelphia Kicks back in the day. He was actually the team captain. Team captain, player coach, I believe. Uh, you can register through the Total Turf website, totalturf.net, or any high school or club coach interested in having their, their team can attend. Can email. Are we doing emails at all? Or are we just gonna I don't know, but if anybody gets a hold of Don, let, let him know. He owes me money. <laughs> play smart, play smart. Anybody out there that are friends, Don, do you ever have him give me a call? 
Yeah, I, I saw him on Friday morning. He came in Friday morning. I actually came in and helped Andy with some yeah, stuff. Don's a good guy. And Don is a very good guy. Nice. Yeah, it's a good program here from through Total Turf Experience. But that doesn't excuse the fact that he owes me money. How much money? A lot. Oh. Whole lot of. Whole lot of moolah. <laughs> As they say. Boy, that orange slash red ball moves pretty quick. <laughs> Setting down the line. Jersey Elite trying to get something going offensively. They've been struggling offensively. Move for most of the game. Well, here comes an opportunity for number 22, Jamie Vigerio. And there's number 21. Comes a pass. Oh, in the traffic. And we're going back. Jersey Elite has it. I say let him play. That one's coming to you, Joe. There it comes. Ooh. Kick save. Look at that. Look at that. I got it right there. How about that for a close up? That was a close up if I've ever seen one, Joe. <laughs> that was a field hockey cameo there by the ball. Oh, nice. I think you heard it from our ref right in front of us, Joe. There you go. Did I get a card? Did he give me a green card? Um, I think she gave you a red card. I think you just got thrown out, Joe. Oh! Uh-oh, I think we're getting a card. Oh, we got a green card. And that's on number seven, Rachel Phillips, as she will come off. Due to the green card. Was that a green? Was that, that was a green. That was a green card. Ooh, heads up. There comes number 22. Kelsey O'Neill centers it. Oh, and nobody's there. But it hit the foot of number 29, Chelsea Davis. So it'll be Jersey Intensity. We got a break in the action here. And we got a new sport coming here, Joe. We got a new sport coming here May 18th, Saturday. I believe it's Saturday evening now. Not sure of the time there. I'm not so. sure of the time, but it's called Cronum. And Cronum combines the elements of soccer, basketball, and handball into an exciting, fast paced sport. Come out on May 18th. I'll be here. Joe might even be here. And the uh, guys from. Nope, the I'll be in Portland, Maine. Ah, well, Joe will not be here. Bryce well, will be here. Bryce will be here, my brother, and come out and have some fun. Uh, the guys from the Cronum League will teach you the game, run through some practices, and then you'll get a chance to play some of it. Get in on the ground floor of this new sport. Maybe you can be the next Kernum star. For more information, go to the Total Turf website, totalturf.net. You can also go to Kronum.com. Kronum.com. R-O-N-U-M.com. Just so you know, Joe, Andy showed me a video that they had, they did like a little uh, news pack sort of thing from here the other day. I saw it's on YouTube. If you want to check that out, type in Kronum Total Turf on YouTube. And uh, I believe that's what... It'll come up as, but if not, then you'll get a good look at our turf field. You get a good look of our turf field and uh, what the game's all about. So uh, you're getting a good look right now, there, Sean. Yeah, they are right now. It's a good look. But that YouTube video will give you a chance to see how it's played here, and uh, you can watch Colonel really on any YouTube channel. But uh, still 2 nothing here. You're watching U16 Regional Club Championships from the Virtual Total Turf Experience Indoor and Outdoor Sports Complex. I'm Sean Kelly here with my partner in crime, Joe Sweeney. Hey there, hi there, ho there. How about that camera work? This cameraman is unbelievable. I am on fire. Number 22, Kelsey O'Neill trying to get something going, but we're going the other way. Not sure what that call was, Joe, but uh, we do not have our referees mic'd up for this game. That'd be something cool, though, Joe. It's coming. It's in the works. Get two. Go, Alexis. Oh, we're 
going. Oh! There's the intensity. It's going to be a side out, I believe, for the intensity. But number five, Jess Welch. Somebody turned the fan back on. I don't know. And we got a corner for the intensity. We may have to close the roof here at the stadium. We might. I forgot this turned into a dome. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, Joe. That's what the mute button's for. I'm not sure which one's mine, though. It's six or seven. Shot. Deflected pitch save. My number 88, Jackie DeRimes. DeRimes? DeRimes? DeRimes, yeah. DeRimes. Not sure how much time we got until halftime. Uh, I believe they're 25 minute half. Joe. That's what I heard. So, we got about eight minutes left if this clock is, if this clock is correct. Nice pass in the middle. And we're going back the other way. And we got some fan action. Oh, he's coming to me? Say hi, Sean. He's coming to me? <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing, Joe. I thought you were doing fan cam on me. I did. You went, went fan cam. cam. You went broadcaster cam. <laughs> A good defensive play by number 68 there. Allie Brohard. Comes number 12. Nikki Profetto. Just seems like the elite are having a lot of trouble getting out of their defensive end, Joe. The intensity is pretty intense here. Oh, my. Give them some time to set up something here. Comes number eight, Sydney Montone. Is that what it is? That's correct. Montone. Montone. Montone we got. And uh, looks like it's going to be the first corner for the elite here. Late in the first half. Got a lot of fans here, Joe. Not, I forget what number you told me earlier. But Over 17,000 here watching field hockey. They're hiding from the trees there, aren't they, Joe? <laughs> they couldn't, they weren't a lot in the stadium, so they had to climb up the trees to watch. Sean, we had over a $8,000 50 50 on Friday night. Oh, really? Not sure where all the money went. Maybe that's the money Don has. <laughs> Number 39. We're going to get a phone call. Kate Kianko is going to take it for the intensity. The intensity continue to move the ball into their offensive zone. That's where they've been living. Oh, a nice defensive play there by number, by number 27. But we're going to go the other way. That is uh, Kelly Hyman. Oh, nice pass in the middle to 22. And a good defensive play by Hyman again. Is that right, Joe? Hyman? Yep, that's correct. All right. I just want to make sure. Oh, nice play. Oh, nice. Flick over the stick. No one's going to run out of bounds. We have any viewer question of the day, Joe? We, we had a couple last week. Uh, no. Nah, a couple of questions. Oh, nice move. Nice move by number 68. There is uh, Ali Brohard. Oh, and another good defensive play. This time by number 47, Kate Ebner. I think some of these girls could beat me up, Joe. Yes, they could, Sean. Without the field hockey stick, though. And they would uh, they would get a yellow card for doing that. Yeah, I would get a red card because I would I would forfeit. <laughs> There's no crying in field hockey, Sean. 
I thought that was baseball. I think it pretty much applies to all sports across the board. It's been all intensity here so far in this first half. Maybe it's the sun. Maybe the sun's in their eyes. I don't know, why don't you push those uh, Turfside Cafe smoothies and maybe we get a couple out here for uh, Yeah, if you guys are effort. Want, it's halftime here, and uh, if you're looking for a bite to eat, watching your son play, son or daughter play, parents are out here watching right now. Uh, enjoy, go out to enjoy the <laughs> enjoy healthy and delicious food from the Turfside Cafe. They feature a wide, wide ranging menu that offers something for everyone from flat, flatbread sandwiches, salads, and smoothies, along with chicken, fish, and fresh veggies. From the Endeavor Sports Performance Menu, they also feature more standard items like pizza, burgers, and hot dogs. The Turfside Cafe can also cater your event. You can call them at 856-269-4413. That sounds good there, Sean. That sounds amazing. I would love a smoothie right now. All right, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with the second half action. And you're watching U16 Regional Club Championships. Jersey Intensity lead it 2 to nothing. Martial Arts for Life. Martial Arts is one of the most powerful tools in creating positive change. Hockey is a sport of teamwork, and that goes beyond what happens here on the ice at the Virtuous Center Flyer Skate Zone. It's a partnership all for the benefit of the community. The official orthopedic provider of the Flyers, Virtua, is proud to be a sponsor of the Flyers Community Teammate, which honors hometown heroes. The Flyers and Virtua educate young athletes about proper exercise, nutrition, and the prevention of sports injuries. Flyers alums have given their time for the Virtua Cares program, which helps Virtua employees in need. There's the ever popular Hockey and Heels event that benefits women's heart disease and stroke awareness. The annual Virtua Memorial Golf Classic is supported by the Flyers. The Flyers and the NHL have contributed to Virtua through the National Hockey League Fights Cancer Program, and the Flyers wives have also given their time in Virtua hospitals with Read Across America. And Virtua can't say enough about how very special it is for its pediatric patients when the players visit. They're just blown away, completely blown away by the hockey players' visit. Peter Laviolette and his wife Kristen come unannounced to the hospital at Christmas time with gifts for the kids on the pediatric. You can. Back here, second half action. Jersey intensity lead it two to nothing over Jersey Elite. I'm Sean Kelly here with my cameraman and color commentator, Joe the Show Sweeney. There you go. Enjoy the show, ladies and gentlemen. We're having a lot of fun. Get some updates on some scores right now from any any type of action around the world with my ESPN Score Center app. <laughs> Uh, Phillies played 235. That's a weird timing. How about the Brooklyn Nets fall to the uh, Brooklyn to the Nets Bulls fell there? to the Bulls and uh, I thought they had it. I thought they had them. I think the bigger news is that Der Derek Rose will not return at all this postseason, and they were questioning that with uh, with them playing uh, the Heat because. But uh, Thunder lead the Grizzlies 47-46 at halftime. I think the Grizzlies will take that serious. Well, yeah, I think the Thunder is struggling now because without Russell Westbrook, they're a completely different team, and Kevin Durant has to 
take a lot of the loot, but we'll see. Jersey, oh, and a shot, and it's a goal for number 42. I don't have a, up. Oh, Alexis Grippa. So it's three nothing Jersey intensity, and it's been all offensive for them. All offensive minded. That was a Technopro electric and plumbing shot of the game. Nothing goes better together than plumbing and electric. <laughs> like peanut butter and jelly, French and fries. Oh, well, I just Rob didn't make it out for the halftime show. I was really looking forward to the Huckabee halftime show. I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him yet. He's probably home watching the Grizzlies. Nah, he's supposed to come in at two. <laughs> Maybe he's calling Don for me. <laughs> Maybe Bryce is doing that. It's a kick, but the elite have it. Hey, Sean, any sign of the corporate jet in the, uh, in the vicinity? I believe that Captain Andrew Lagar is flying back from a game. Um, I have not seen it, and I haven't heard anything. Oh. Is that it right there? Could be. Is that it? He has the invisible shield on. <laughs> Doesn't want anyone to see where he is. There's a corner to shot. In the middle, opportunity. Oh, and a good defensive play by the intensity. Elite. Oh, no kick. Look like a kick, and it's going to be another corner for the elite. If your birthday's coming up, we host parties here at Total Turf. Have your part next party here at Total Turf. I want to have mine at my. I want to have mine here. I turn 20 in two weeks, and I want to have mine here. But play your favorite sports in our arena. Enjoy classic games in the arcade and feast on delicious fruits from the Turfside Cafe. You heard it earlier. Total Turf hosts birthday parties, lead banquets, and corporate events in our spacious party room. It also available as a live music DJ. And inflatable bouncy castles from CGM. For more information on holding your event here at Total Turf, call 856 218 0891. Remember to send me your picture there, Sean, for the oh, birthday and, party. Uh, yeah, we send them to Joe the show, and he we have a little. Send, send the pictures to us, and uh, we have a little like a little uh, party flyer for your son or daughter. That's why it's going to be a. Playing for the intensity. Two nothing intensity there, Sean. It's three nothing, Joe. Sorry, three nothing. <laughs> like I said, I'm working the camera here. Hey, I know. I stand corrected. <laughs> Fans are getting on you, Joe. They're not happy with you. I wonder if we're going to get food after this, Joe. Keep plugging the Turfside Cafe. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looks like substitution method's coming in, Joe. If you want to... For the white team, they got a, they're, they're like changing and they got like a whole team coming in. They're pretty even so far here in the early stages of the second half. With the intensity getting one early, but the elite have been playing pretty well here in the second half. A lot of offense compared to the first half where it wasn't as much. This cameraman is unreal. I am on it. He might be the best cameraman in South Jersey. I'm the best cameraman that's standing right here at this time. <laughs> Oh, and a nice cutback by number 42. 
My Lord says Grippa. That's a cool ass name. Grippa. Nice defensive play there by number 57, Michaela Thompson. And the intensity trying to get some offense right now. Nice play in the middle. And good defensive play, and they're going to try and get out of their zone. I think the biggest question that we had last week, Joe, was what is the difference between field hockey and hockey? Uh, a Y chromosome? <laughs> Shorter sticks? And they play on ice. <laughs> Shot for number 12. Wide. And that was Nikki Perfetto. And still 3 0 here. You're watching U16 Regional Club Championships from the Virtual Total Turf Experience. Indoor and outdoor sports complex for all your sports needs. And this is this broadcast is brought to you by the Turfside Cafe. Don't forget our good friends at Sports Paradise. Can't forget them. And Virtua. Sean, don't forget, coming up on July 4th weekend, it's Andy Logar presents Dog Show 3. That's true. I forgot about that. <laughs> You guys want to see some really cool uh, dogs doing some unbelievable uh, stunts. And agility. Agility, yeah. I don't know. I, th I think they're back-to-back. -back. I think there's three and f uh, dog show three and four that it's, weekend and then the yeah, weekend it's not after. The, it's not the Westminster style where they just walk the dogs around and prance around. These dogs are These moving. These dogs are unbelievable. I didn't really get a chance to see them, but... Uh, It's really cool to watch. So if you're in the area, July 4th weekend, I know a lot of people will be probably going down the shore for that weekend. But if you're in the area and you want to check out some dogs doing some cool things. You can always pull us up on your smartphone or tablet. You don't have to be here to enjoy the fun. No, not at all. But will we be covering that, Joe? Absolutely. We'll have something going on. Something. We'll have... What's uh what's Kevin up to today? Yes. Kevin. Go, go, go. Right, Who's Kevin? Kevin. You know Kevin. I don't know Kevin. My dad's name's Kevin. Yeah, Kevin Kelly. Oh. I I believe he's uh with Bryce and my mom's but I'm still with uh Who's Kevin? <laughs> I didn't know who you were talking about. I didn't know if you were talking about my dad or not, but he's with he and my mom are with Bryce and uh, at a soccer team up in Jackson. No, they're not. They're a great adventure. They told you they were going to a tournament. <laughs> yeah, they just... That's that's awful that they did that to you. Yeah, it's all right. Number seven for the elite took, took the ball right on her forearm. Number seven is uh, we know Rachel Phillips. Took it right on her wrist. Seems to be okay right now. Number, number five. And that is Jess Welch for the intensity. We're going to be taking this hit. Oh, nice play. It just seems that the intensity have had a lot more crisp passes than uh, the Elite right now, Joe. And they've spent the majority of the time in this game in the offensive end.
Opportunity, no. Another one. Sean, what's the uh, largest river in the world? Denial. I was gonna say that, but you didn't give me a chance to answer. Sorry. Oh well. Oh, Phillies are starting. We got Slowy versus Holiday. See, Joe, you know how we're we were talking about basketball earlier with the Grizzlies and the Thunder, but I have a dark horse team to make the NBA Finals, which is Golden State. Yeah. Well, they got my favorite player on there, so. And they're really, they're actually really fun to watch. If you if you have a chance at home, if you're, I know they play really late because they're out on the West Coast. But if you have a chance to watch them, I would do so. Speaking of favorite teams, don't forget to tune in on June seventh, right here from the Total Turf Experience Outdoor Field. We have the Summer Invitational, the Tri-State Elite Baseball Summer Invitational. There, Sean. Now will you be there? Action packed. Yes, for June 7th we are broadcasting that tournament. I will be here, I think. <laughs> think about it. Play smart, girls. We make it feel like you're right here with us. Yes, we do. We got the wind blowing in our mics. It's a breezy day, but it's a beautiful day. Ugh, excuse me. Ooh. And I believe coming up next we have. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's team. Team 14. The next game will be. I'm not really sure what's coming up next, Joe. That was a shot off the uh, nice off the yeah. post there. Keep up pressure, pressure on, you guys. Heads up. Oh, and you can hear that whistle at home. I heard it. And that was what we call a free hit. Told by our referee. 3 nothing. Jersey Intensity still lead over to Jersey Elite. Nice play there by number... Number eight, Joe. That's number eight. Nice. Number eight, Sydney Mon Montano. Mon Montano. Montone. Sydney Montone. Montone. I had it right the third time. <laughs> third time is the charm. That was number 58. We got uh, Annie Deutsch. Deutsch. Yeah. Deutsch. 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 Got it. Kickball. Oh. Opportunity here for the Elite Late. This is number. I don't have a number three on my score sheet. No, I do have a number three. Tali Kapinko. Going back down the other way.
And it's going to be a corner for the Elite. One more announcement. We got, please join us for the 15th annual Dave Lodar Memorial 5K run and one mile walk on Sunday, May 19th at Cooper River Park. Because of all of last year's runners, walkers, sponsors, donations, and auction bidders, the Dave Lodar, Mem the Dave Lodar Memorial Fund was able to donate over $10,000 to shooting victim Kevin Neary. This year, we'll fund the, fu yeah. the fund will be helping Matthew McCarroll, a 2010 graduate of Cherokee High School. A diving accident last summer crushed Matthew's C5 vertebrae. Our goal is to help Matthew and his family with the financial burden that an accident like this brings upon the family. Online registration is now available via the Total Turf website, TotalTurf.net. You can also find information there about becoming a sponsor or making a donation. We hope that you can make you we hope you can help us reach our goal for this year and can't wait to see you at Cooper River Park on May 19th. That's uh, in its 20th year there. Uh, or I'm sorry, 15th. Yes. 15th anniversary. I'll be there. I've seen you there before. Were you there? Have you? I've seen pictures. Ah. Uh, makes sense. Also, the registration is also on DaveLugarRun.com. Has a little bit of information about Dave and uh, what had happened with him. Uh, so... Oh, we got a, what do we oh, got? Oh, she's pulling a card out. Oh, we got a yellow. And that's number, that's number five. Jess Welch. <laughs> Every time the elite are trying to get it on the board, the intensity just let it. John, what's today's date? Today is the Cinco de Mayo. Like that setup? Yeah. I did. I did like that setup. I wasn't sure. I forgot. And then when I noticed it, I was <laughs> What do we got time-wise there left there, Sean? Well... If my calculations are correct, it's quarter of three right now. So I'm going to say 10 minutes. What you know, the Phillies are down 2 nothing. No bad news, Sean. No bad news. Not on a day like this. Not on a day like this. Do not bring me no <laughs> bad news. Good defensive play there by number 68. Ali Brohard.
Number eight, Cindy Montone for the elite. They continue to struggle in their offense, trying to get the ball in their offensive end. And when they do get there, they are shut down by this intensity defense. But they've been trying their best, and they've well coached teams there, Sean. Yeah, you got coaches. I believe I have coaches there listed. You do have coaches uh, for the intensity. You got Kelly. Monahan, is that what it was? Monahan. Monahan, and uh, we got two coaches for the elite, uh, Jim Miller and. Uh, no, no, excuse me, Sean. That's handsome Jim Miller. Handsome Jim Miller. Oh, handsome. I, I didn't even notice that. And we got Jim Popinko. <laughs> and we have another visitor into the broadcast booth, Jeff. You want to turn around real quick? I don't want to turn around. No, you already know who it is. No. <laughs> I'm working here, Sean. Jimmy Yu is in the broadcast. Group. Opportunity. Oh, good catch save. Not much scoring here in the second half compared to the first half. City corner here coming up, Sean. Sorry about that, Joe. We got a corner for the intensity, trying to add a little bit of uh, oh. Is it all sides or something? Apparently, if you step out too early. And then we're down to three. Not uh, four. <laughs> Not too many times left. To you're eating the clock here on this one. Trying to get one more and add a little insurance. But we're going the other way. And that's it. Jersey Intensity wins this semifinal game. I believe they play right net right right now, Joe. They play back to back. Well, we now, got some work cut out, so I gotta get the uh, names of the uh, edge. Do, but Do they have water? The intensity win it three nothing over the elite. But they're not going anywhere, neither are we, as we are going to the championship game. Right now, we're so gonna take a quick break. You're gonna stop that. You're gonna record. You're gonna save it. 